sounded expensive. Woohoo! What's up, everybody? It's Mark Davidson. I'm back today, and I got a little bit of a frustrating story. Ugh, still upset, but it's cool. The other day, I was flying, and the conditions were crap, and I just kept trying anyway, and I busted my prop. So stick around till later in the video, you can see me face plant and eat it in the snow and break my gear. But inside this box right here is a brand new carbon fiber prop. The last one was a wood one, got a carbon fiber. I didn't break too many props in my life, so this was a little upsetting, and it was my fault. It was something foolish. Anyway, today's video is going to be dissecting what happened and how I could have probably avoided it all together and then taking this ooh, brand new beautiful carbon fiber prop out and putting it on to the paramotor. I know it's unfortunate but whatever it happens once in a while and I didn't get hurt. One time though I did get hurt so sometimes I put this jersey on my old no fear racing jersey. I broke my shoulder in three places and dislocated it and they had to cut it off me in the ambulance and I still like to wear it once in a while. Just to say, hey, if you get broke and you fall down, you just gotta get back up, get back on that horse and ride. This video is brought to you by PBR. Let's get to the footage and see what happened and why. All right, let's get this party started here. This is the first launch attempt of the day. You can see the snow is falling down and it's a wet snow. So my first launch here, I'm going in that left wing is stalled out. We'll go back and look at slow-mo, but I'm running and the wing is not coming up. Finally falls back behind me as I go downhill and have to come to a stop. You can see with the windsock there, the wind is actually coming from my left to right. Here it is again in slow motion. If you watch that left wing, it stays stuck down there. The wind is actually blowing it and not allowing that much air going into the cells and to get it inflated. Probably dragged on the snow a little bit too. So that side was stalled, stayed going to the left, and it looks like I'm pulling too much brake on the right side to get it back up. Finally, without speed, running through the snow, it stalls, falls back behind me. Once I get to the bottom of that little tiny hill, trying to run through five inches of that heavy snow is really difficult. And not only was it snowing, but it was like 33 degrees, so it was a real wet snow. Here uh, we got reset up, brought the glider up to the top of the hill again for another attempt. This one goes a little bit better. The wing is coming up. You can see it inflates, but still going to the left. And I think what I'm doing here is just pulling too much brake and as I said, that snow is wet, it hits the wing, which was warm when I brought it out, and just getting everything heavy and wet and damp. Um, so this time I decided, hey, what the heck, we'll just straighten it back out. I'm halfway down the hill, let's reset up, go again. So this is attempt number three, good, it comes up this time. I'm slipping, I get to the bottom of the hill, I thought I had it, and the wing falls back behind. So at this point I knew that the wing, I picked it up and it felt about five pounds heavier with that much moisture and how wet it was and carrying that motor was tough so i went home went and grabbed the nitro and uh dry wing tried to take off we shoveled a path here and had similar results just went off to the left again if we look here on the slow motion video you can watch and see how the left wing tip drags that snow and as soon as it kind of drags in the snow a little bit and starts going off to the left plus the wind is coming over those trees from the left um that's just hopeless there so not being able to go into the wind was definitely the problem so we hung out here a little bit and, and just said it's hopeless trying to take off there is difficult so we went to a road uh, at least it was cleared off, did a little bit of a reverse here and never completely got the wing up overhead. Again, it's not uh, being able to go right into the wind is the difficult part. Here it is again a little bit slower. Wing is coming up pretty good, probably could have turned quicker, actually could have let the wing get up overhead. Just wasn't a lot of, of wind in this spot. Um, and it was switching, not coming right down the road. So a lot of excuses, but made for a difficult spot right here. So finally, finally things are good. The wind shifts and I'm going directly into the wind. It's working out good. The wing gets up overhead. 
wing is a little drier and finally I get off the ground. I do notice still though my hands were down a little bit, you know, stalling the, the trailing edge of the wing out, pulling brake, but I was able to get off the ground. So that last video, if you haven't seen it, check it out right up here in the corner. This was a cool flight, flew around for like 20 minutes until the Lorenz's battery was running out on the drone and uh, came back in. But we can check this one out again and we can see it from the get go. Boom, laid the wing out, got a nice push, got an overhead good before releasing the A's and then was able to get onto the throttle. Even using those gloves is different too when you have thick gloves on uh, and how quickly you can get onto the throttle. So difficult conditions, wearing winter gear, crosswind, wet wing, a lot of things going against uh, going against me in this one. But after I flew, Lorenzo was like, hey, I'm getting it now. This is really fun. Let's, let's do it again. So I can see here, got a cool flight in. So I didn't really want to try taking off again. The winds were picking up more and coming straight perpendicular to the road. So I knew it was going to be a difficult one. So here I'm getting set up on the botched attempt. And you can see the wind picks up. The, the wing pulls me back. And I'm taking a peek up at it. And I know that this isn't going to work good. So the wing, after I jump into the ditch, gets, uh, <clears throat> gets a lot of force on it. And then it's just dead. There's no, there's no tension on the lines. So here it is again from John's phone. You can see inflation. You can see the wind. It's picked up. It's straight out on the windsock there. And I got to go into it. So I thought maybe if I punch it, jump down into the ditch. But jumping down that four feet, uh, put a lot of tension on those lines. And then they just went slack and did a frontal collapse on it. Uh, I've got another video coming up here with the GoPro. <laughs> John, John is funny Dude, with the commentary camera here. The camera here. fell out. He's got multiple cameras. All right, so let's take another look at it again. Oh, this is Lorenz. He's flying around me and laughing at me uh, after I fell down into the snow and was just laying there. So he did a circle around with the drone. I was okay. Nothing too bad. I knew the prop was broke right away. All right, so here's it from my perspective. Got pulled back a little bit. Hands were too far forward. I got to keep the hands up. And then was it was too late. I jumped into the ditch and thought maybe I could pull something off, but yeah, bad decision making okay. right there. I should have just let the wing fall back, uh, and we see the results of it coming up. Good wing up. You can see the drone out there. Jump in the ditch. I was flying there. I'm gonna count that as a flight. I think I flew. And you can see the shard of prop go flying off into the field. So, yeah, that winter flying, so definitely not easy. Got a new yeah, carbon fiber prop, prop now, and uh, $300 later, yeah. $350 later, I'll be ready to go flying again. So, just uh, an interesting setup. Here it is in slow motion. Good, that wing just weather vanes right into the wind, pulls me back. Not really sure what to do. Probably should have had hands up a little bit more. Punched it. There's my flight. Good. Managed to get one flight in there, and then the wing collapses down. And as that happens, slippery slope, fall down. Boom. You can see that chunk of prop eject out of there pretty quick. All right. So this is how it ended up, and this is what we have left of the prop. So we're going to go ahead and uh, might as well fix it. Plenty of supplies for fixing props around here. So I'm going to do a little how-to on uh, how to fix your prop if it ever does get broke. You just want to get some type of material that you're going to be able to mend that prop with. And we'll worry about balance later. Good. The main thing here is you just want to line that prop up. Good. Right here. I'm going to start here. I'm gonna just wrap this right around. Good. Make it just the shape that we need there. And just to make sure that it holds together, we will add yeah, just a little piece of tape on each side to kind of keep everything locked together good right there. Once you get this tape applied, it's pretty much good to use or sell. 
I'll probably end up selling this one. I'm sure somebody could use a spare prop out there. And that's it. So once again, thanks guys for following along with today's video. Hopefully you learned something new between uh, some winter takeoff techniques, some whatnot to do's, and then even a little bit of prop repair. So as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the skies. Thank <laughs> you.